Crude oil has been reacting to the turmoil in financial markets as of late, and prices rebounding slightly today as investors digest comments from Russian President Vladimir Putin over stationing nuclear weapons in Belarus. That's seemingly outweighing weaker data out of China. Let's get a sense of the direction from here with Paul Sankey, Sankey Research Lead Analyst. Paul, it's good to see you. I mean, you know, we, we're still seeing prices that are way below where they were. You know, we, we've seen the trend remain lower. Do you think it stays that way, though? Well, it was really, as you said, a financially driven price drop. So it was the regional banking crisis that really took the air out of, of crude, basically, because risk off uh, saw financial flows come right out of crude. There's still an uncertainty about the extent to which the regional banks will cause a major economic slowdown. We certainly have some major clients who are very concerned that the importance of regional banks to the growth drivers of the U.S. economy are, is going to be very significant. So that's that. On the other hand, refining margins have stayed pretty high to high, which is really a good indicator that demand remains strong. And so we would expect crude to recover somewhat here, but perhaps stay under pressure from the economic outlook. From those clients that you're hearing from, are they initiating any type of pivot in their own strategy? No, they're just saying that whilst they remain, and it's the old story, whilst they remain bullish oil long term, because there's such grave uh, supply problems and such huge population globally and demand popul uh, globally, at the same time, they really see the regional banks as, as hugely important to U.S. GDP. And there's going to be a huge tightening in standards, lending standards, that's essentially going to cause a, a major slowdown. And the specific example they cited was actually in Texas. So that would seem to point to dynamics that are good for oil prices if we're going to see maybe not as much investment in drilling activity. Um, is that What is that going to mean, though, for the companies themselves, right? If you can't borrow as much to drill as much, to produce as much oil, maybe it's not as great dynamics for the oil companies. We, we don't really see it, it having an effect on oil supply, actually, the oh. regional bank crisis, because the oils have paid down so much debt. And uh, uh, their activity is within their cash flows, even at this lower price. So others have been saying, you know, this uh, Silicon Valley Bank could have a major effect on investment in the Permian, and, and we just don't see it at all. The, the balance sheets are in awesome shape, and they're going to keep the activity up. So it does. It's not a particularly bullish uh, outlook at the moment, based on the regional bank crisis. Paul, we're almost a year removed between the partnership that kind of initiated following the Russian invasion of Ukraine between Russia and China, and particularly on oil imports and exports there. What most notably has been kind of the, uh, I guess, any development on that front that is also another impact, uh, net impact to the broader kind of oil market here? Well, that's been the key, I think, apart from the regional bank, the small matter of the regional banking crisis. That's, that's been the key, which has been number one, the extent to which China recovers and how rapidly. And number two, the fact that Russia really hasn't interrupted crude exports, anything like to the extent that the bulls would have anticipated by this time. So, you know, a year ago, maybe six months ago, you thought that Russian exports, particularly of crude, would be down hard. Uh, that really hasn't happened. It's, it's had a strange effect on the oil product market because a lot of the crude is being exported to India and China, which are then uh, refining it and in some cases exporting their own products. So the product market has, has stayed under some pressure. But then we've had this French refining strike, which has taken out a million barrels a day of refining capacity. And so that's kept the refining market quite tight. Um, so there's numerous things going on, but one of them hasn't been much lower Russian volumes in the way that we anticipated. And that's probably been the single biggest bear point that we've had over the past month or so. And do you expect any change to those dynamics with regard to over Russia time, in particular? Russia, yeah, sure. Over time, Russian inventories are rising and that over time is going to cause them more and more problems essentially. And, and exporting products, especially from the north, is very difficult for them because you're trying to replace uh, pipelines with, with tankers that can only get into relatively small ports. So there's definitely an issue with Russian exports, and they are likely to decline over time. So most people are very bullish on the second half of the year. They see Chinese aviation, Chinese economy strength combined with weaker U Russian supply, no growth in the U.S. supply, all com contributing to what could be a very strong second half. Is there a significant action that you expect OPEC to take in the second half of the year? 
been a bit of a mystery because, of course, they announced a two million cut, which was a shock, but it was more of a message to the Biden administration than any real effects on exports. So that was another head fake that the oil market uh, had to face, was they said they'd cut two million and they kind of didn't, especially on the export side. And now there's no meeting until June. However, everyone's agreed that Saudi wants a price close to 95, whereas we're at more like 75 right now. So the expectation is they'll do something. Having said that, there's tension within, we understand, within the OPEC between Saudi and UAE uh, as to whether or not we want higher price for less volume or just more volume in the case of UAE. And that's, that's an, an interesting tension to watch. But for now, there's no meeting till June.